Welcome to ATP Customs. Well, today we are getting rid of the ram's horn style manifolds on this little C10, ripping the exhaust system off, and we are going to install a set of Patriot ceramic coated headers. They fit 67 to 87 Chevys with small walk. There was inch and five eight primary tubes and inch and three quarters so we opted for the inch and three quarters and uh, let's do a little review and see how they fit and see if it changes the performance at all so i think we better unpack them and see what they look like so we get some beautiful looking ceramic coated headers you get two collectors you get the header bolts you get the bolts for the collectors you get the header gaskets and the collector gaskets. They have not figured out what this piece is for as there's no paperwork or instructions. I don't know if that's something to do with the 67 to 72 Chevys or is uh, it got some other purpose. No idea. Have to Google that one. Time to uh, take this little C10 apart. Okay, we have our exhaust system out of there. And uh, turns out they took every single clamp all the way down. There was, uh, I think, four per side. And once they got it all bolted together, they took a torch and just shaved the end of the clamp off, the actual bolt part of it, and they just melted off the end so that it wasn't protruding out of the nut. So almost every single one broke apart when uh, I was taking it apart. That's awesome. But there's those awesome ram's horn uh, style manifolds, which I am not a fan of. I'm really excited to see what difference these make. So next, I'm going to take some 2-inch tape and cover all of the tubes. And I'm going to tape the inside of the frame and make sure I don't scratch these things getting them in there because there's not a lot of room on a lowered C10. Fingers crossed. <laughs> so have the headers installed and on the driver's side i was actually able to put a rag in between the headers and the frame because the tape wouldn't stick to the frame all the oil and grease over the years and actually these spark plug wires all fit really nicely on here the headers fit really nicely on the other side because these are inch and three quarters they're definitely bigger than normal and right there you don't have any room so we're probably going to have to go uh sorry mr white's building the exhaust on it right now we're probably going to have to go old school and put a chain on the other side to the frame so that the motor isn't twerking over as much because there's literally no room for movement there and i had to get a chunk of that heat protectant stuff what i don't know what it's called it's a little heat shield it's about two feet long to protect all the starter wires. You do have to drop the starter on this side to, sorry about that. You have to drop the starter on this side in order to get this header in. This side's a bit of a finicky one. It's not a huge deal, but they do fit nice. You just have no room because they are a bigger tube header. It is what it is. We'll chain it to the frame and that's really all we can do on that one. I don't feel like bashing brand new headers in since they look so nice. And uh, half of the exhaust is already built. I was actually hoping I was taking this thing out for a rip with the uh, open headers, but we do have to tune this to the exhaust and it needs a tune right now anyways, because it's puking fuel. So there's kind of no point in taking for a rip because it's not really going to show us anything since it's not running correctly. So I guess we're building exhaust before we get to take it for a rip, but that's okay because it's half done. And before I forget, on the driver's side, when you have the ram's horn style manifolds, there's an actual one or two bolts that go through this bottom bracket. This one's a homemade bracket, but they actually bolt into the manifold so that it stabilizes this. It actually sucks it back and makes the belts tight. You can see they're really loose right now and how wobbly that thing is. And it also affects your power steering down there. So it gets a little wobbly. So we are going to have to make a little 90 degree bend like that, that goes from that bolt there, just over this way 
to the little bracket and uh, that should suck this back and hold it still along with the chain to the frame somehow. I haven't figured out where I'm doing that yet. So we can stop this thing from wrecking itself. Uh, the ceramic coating is actually really nice. It looks really good. I don't have hardly any complaints to make about these Patriot headers. The only complaint I have is that they wrap too much uh, packing tape around the collectors and you have to take some thinners of some kind and get that off. But that's it. Other than that, they fit. They fit really nice. They look really nice. And uh, I have a video that I will pop up right at the end so you can hear this thing pulling out with open headers. I did not get a chance to drive it as we got right on it right away. We have to get this thing done. Uh, we're way behind schedule as always. So I didn't get to roar around in this thing with open headers. That's okay, it wasn't tuned anyways for that. Probably would have been a big waste of time unless we tuned it first, then put the exhaust on, and then tuned it again. But we're not doing that. Sorry, you guys. The cool thing is that I get to drive this for a couple of days once the exhaust is done and the tuning is done, which is the next day tomorrow. We will be tuning this. And, oh, yes. A gentleman asked me on YouTube, 77, question mark, is this a 77? My last few videos, I've been calling it a 77. And then I noticed that my previous videos about this truck are calling it 78. So I looked up serial number and it's a 78. And I guess because I have so many square body trucks in my life, I got confused in my videos. So my bad, my apologies. This is a 78. And it turns out in my yard, I have a 77 step side, I have a 78 Jimmy have a 79 uh, one ton dually two wheel drive, have a 79 three quarter ton four by four, have an 80 monster blazer, have an 81 half ton, have an 81 dually. And then when we get to 84, 85, 86 and 87, I have, I think five of those in various two wheel drives and four wheel drives. So that's why I got confused on this one. So for your next video, which is coming out the very next day, we're doing a review on the mufflers that went on this truck. Flowmaster, these are their hush powers, the quiet performer. Now I said, I am not using Flowmasters ever again after we put them on, uh, we've had them on a Mustang, had them on a Jimmy, had them on about three different vehicles. And I said, I'm not using them anymore. I decided to try them on this truck to try and quieten it down because their advertising says that it's hush power. So your next video is going to be are those mufflers what they say? And will I be using Flowmaster ever again? So that will be the next day. And then we get to drive the living crap out of this thing and make sure that uh, it's gonna hold up to the owner because he drives this thing pretty hard. <laughs> so don't forget to watch the video coming out at the end here of this thing backing out. And thank you for watching. And I hope you subscribe. This is the best part about opening the shop every day.